David, and I'm here in San Diego. With millions out there getting it on, there's some pretty racy questions that need to be answered. So I'm hitting the streets of the gas lamp district to see if I can clear up the issues in your pants. So I was wondering what this sexting is all about. You know, it's like texting, but about sex, right? There's like studies that have been done that have said that roughly 40% of teens and young people are doing that. But Studies also show that 40% are showing their sex to other people, which means that something you send to her, she's maybe showing her all of her friends. So I think it's something you do with caution. You don't want to end up on YouTube. That is not the goal of sexting. Is there any over-the-counter ways <laughs> I can improve my stamina? OK. There are none that I can recommend, but there are a lot of not necessarily over-the-counter ways. I'm talking mental ways. Now, I'm not sure if you're familiar with this little technique where you go home and you try on your own and you get right before that point and you stop and then you do it again and you get right before that point and you stop. Practice makes perfect. Exactly, my point. Another thing to keep in mind, and guys do not seem to know this, most girls, they don't really want to go all night. Sometimes that makes it so we can't walk the next day. We don't want that. That usually happens. <laughs> well, you know, I'm gonna have to trust you on that one. And there's always the tried and true picture, you know, your grandmother, count baseball, whatever you need to do. I think of my grandmother mowing the lawn. Okay. <laughs> that should work. In fact, viewers, you can borrow his grandmother mowing the lawn if you want to last longer. I have, like, really, really freaky deaky sex with my girl, right? Right. Most of the times when we're done, she gets really dizzy and disoriented, and she gets all hyper. Really? You're really? <laughs> and I just, like, I have to calm her down. Is that something that I, have, that I should worry about, that she just doesn't know how to relax after sex? Well, it could be. <laughs> I mean, you could be, like, that good. It, it could be that. But there's a couple of other possibilities. Some women, they're concentrating so hard on like getting to that point that they literally hold their breath. Okay. So it could be something like that where she's literally not breathing right. Or it could be something psychological, like sex is somehow like nauseating or she's having some flashback. I mean, that's the only like way you should worry. But I right. think if it continues to happen and she's seriously dizzy, she should go to an ear, nose, and throat doctor and see if there's like a vertigo thing. We want her to be like healthy and good so you can continue to have this amazing sex with her, right? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Just doing my part to help out the folks in San Diego. I'm Anna David. See you next time I go in your pants.